All right, what's going on, everybody? Um, you caught me a little off guard. I was watching some U.S. presidents play Fortnite Reload. You know, I was really enjoying myself. I've been getting back into Fortnite recently. You know, <laughs> Chapter Two OG. You know, we got Ice Spice in the game. Everyone loves that. But this is not what this video is about. Today, I'm actually going to be ranking the protagonists I'd be taking on a two man. Now, it is 10:43 at night, exactly Central Time, and you know, I just um. I, I wanted to do something because you guys have, uh, there's been a lot of people watching my videos. You know, I got 200, almost 300 views on my last video, I think. Uh, at least that's where it looks like it's going. I, it hasn't hit it yet. It's hit 200. I don't think it's going to hit 300 yet. But I wanted to follow up pretty soon because, you know, I usually take like two or three weeks to record a single video. I usually take like three or four weeks just to record a single video, at least these types of videos, because I don't really play GTA that much. But I still want to do something related to GTA because, you know, I have a su decent following now. I have like 400 f fucking subscribers. So, you know, I want to do something. And this is what I'm doing. I'm going to do the most peak stuff you've ever seen before. Who am I going to take on the two man? This is completely unscripted. I did not write a script for this. This is going to be all off the top of my head. Um, it is now 1044 Central Time, PM. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I got stuff to do tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> way more important stuff than this but hey let's get started with the first one trevor i actually don't know where i'm gonna put the i think i'm gonna put him in the b tier and you're probably thinking dude what the fuck are you on about this guy will actually make me look good bro this guy will actually make me look good he'll he's in the older women you know he's in the women who look like they're in their 90s so i think he won't be we won't be going for the same chick probably anyways um depends on the 90 year old but um yeah, no, um, Trevor, he's gonna either make me look good or really bad, and, or, oh, he, he can only really make me look good, cause, uh, he probably won't shit talk me in front of the hoes, you know, he's gonna be, um, you know, like, yeah, this guy, I mean, if we're good friends, he's gonna be like, yeah, this guy, yeah, <laughs> he's a fucking cool dude, man, you know, how does, how does Trevor talk again? This guy saved my life, he's a little bit of a stick in the mud, you know, but, you know, he's a decent guy, he's a alright guy, so he's probably gonna smell like shit, too, so, and then he's gonna make me smell like, uh, a fucking rose bush or some shit that a dog hasn't pissed in yet. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be looking good. I'm gonna be looking pretty good. And uh, even if he's sh shit talking a little bit, it's gonna be like, oh, that guy. Like you know, I I ain't no fucking I ain't no Conor McGregor, but I ain't dance with the midget hoes in the club. But I will tell you this. I will tell you this. I will look better compared to Trevor probably. Anyway, I don't know. It depends on my haircut. Trevor can't. It's it depends on Trevor's mood basically. So he's gonna be put in B tier. Um. Next up, we're going to put in Luis, bro. Um, I'm going to put Luis right here. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Luis, like, you know, I think, bro, he gets the hose, bro. He did, he did a girl in the bathroom one time, brother. Like, he literally picks up girls without even blinking twice, you know. And, yeah, you're right. You're right. But he's going to steal mine, bro. He's literally going to snatch up mine, bro. I mean, you might be thinking, well, he didn't snatch up Yusuf Amir's because Yusuf Amir's weren't real, Okay. This guy is. He literally hit on the one girl that Yusuf Mir had in his penthouse. This guy cannot be trusted. He will swipe that girl right from under you. Literally, he will snatch her up. So, honestly, I don't trust Luis, bro. I don't trust him. Like, he might he might hook me up. There's a small chance. A 40% a chance he'll hook me up with someone. But, like, he's most likely going to snatch him up, bro. <laughs> Next up, we got, um... You know, I'm picking from this list of protagonists I got here, and, uh, man, I don't, I don't even know half these protagonists, bro, and half these won't even fucking make sense on the two, man. Let's, uh, go with this guy real quick, you know, Johnny, 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 uh, Johnny Depp, or whatever his fucking name is. He's gonna, he's still probably broken up about, uh, Ashley, you know, let's just say he's alive, you know, let's just say he didn't die, um, he's still broken up about Ashley, he's gonna be sitting at the bar, he's gonna be thinking, <laughs> I can't, I can't do this, I, 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 I can't, I, um, I miss Ashley, man, I gotta go back to her, like, he, he ain't really gonna help me, like, these guys are supposed to be helping me, alright, that's the point of the two, man, I can't do shit, these guys have to carry me, Johnny's not carrying, bro, Johnny is gonna sell the bag, he's gonna be like, I, I miss Ashley so much, she looks like she's pushing 50 or 60, and she's addicted to heroin, but I miss her, like, shut the fuck up with that shit, bro, you're not, you ain't getting no hoes with that, bro. Anyways, moving on. This one might be a little controversial, but you'll trust me here in a second. Trust me, trust me. Michael DeSanta at a S tier. I almost said A tier. S tier. 
Michael DeSanta is at S tier, and that's because he was literally hyping up Franklin like he was the second coming of Christ to Lester. When he was trying to get Franklin in on the Jewel Store heist, he had to convince Lester, and he was telling he was telling Lester, you know, this kid, he's got a good, bro. He's got a gigantic dick. He's really good at uh, being a criminal, man. Like, you know, he jumped on a fucking boat moving two miles an hour, bro. Or maybe it was 100 miles an hour. I don't really remember. But, you know, he was he was really good, bro. He was really good. I also have a feeling Michael will just talk him in circles. He'll be gaslighting him up, you know. Michael loves to gaslight people. I don't really have any examples, but I just remember him during the entire story just gaslighting everybody. S at least every now and again. He didn't do it all the time. I'm not saying that. Yeah, Michael Michael would be telling everyone, like, you know, yeah, my boy, my boy, <laughs> my, my boy Brief, <laughs> you know, he's... He's a great GTA player, but he's even better than Ben, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's literally what he would do. Michael, he's a genius, so he, he knows what's up. Michael, I trust Michael to get me in with the 10 out of 10s. Next up, we got Franklin Clinton, and, you know, I actually don't even know where to put him. Uh, I actually don't even know where to put him, bro. <laughs> I can't even lie. Uh, Franklin, I'll just put the fucking B tier, honestly. I mean, putting on the same level as Trevor is kind of dirty, bro, but, like, oh, man. Maybe even, like, uh, he might, I'll just put him up here for the jokes because he'll be like, fuck you want to be with me for a girl? Go, go with that fucking guy, man. I'm with Tanisha. I want Tanisha. You know, you're looking good, but I want Tanisha. That, that's what he's going to do. He's going to, you know, talk him in circles, you know, do all this, do all that. And then they're going to end up with me. I don't know. It's going to happen one way or another. I don't even know what I'm going to put about. But, uh, you know, I just need to put Franklin somewhere. I'm not putting him on the same level as Trevor. And plus, I need to fill up all the spots. And I have a feeling no one else is going to go A tier. There's kind of a big gap. All these characters are antisocial psychopaths. So I kind of have to put Franklin somewhere. He's like the least psychopathic person out of all these characters. So I have to put him somewhere. And uh, A tier is kind of fitting. Um... He's probably decent with the hoes anyway, so I don't know. I've never seen him uh, socialize with the hoe before. You know, he's a fucking misogynist. He only wants uh, he only wants Tanisha. So, uh, you know, that's what he's going to get. And he's going to give me all the other hoes, probably. I don't know, maybe. Anyways, moving on. Nico Bellic. Nico Bellic. I'm going to put him in beats here, bro, honestly. Um, he's going to be talking to all the girls. He's going to be like, yeah, lovemeet.net. 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 Um, I met, yeah, I met, I met my boy Blaif on Lovemeet.net. You know, um, he's he's a great guy, he's a great guy, but he's even greater in bed. Like that's what he's gonna say. That's that's the type of stuff that Nico's gonna be saying. He's gonna make me look good. He might also make me look gay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so you know. Nico ain't gonna really do much. He ain't really gonna steal my thunder, bro. He's wearing some baggy sweatpants with a with a big old coat, looking like a ninja turtle that crawled out of the fucking dump or something. Regardless, you know, I don't think Franklin's gonna er, not Franklin. Nico's gonna be carrying too much, you know. He's not gonna steal any of my thunder. Um Who is next? You know, I'll put in I'll put in this guy, you know. Um this guy's going straight to D tier, and in fact, I don't even know why it's called D tier, but D is actually a fire letter. I think F is perfect, you know. Um, you know, um, what's this guy's name again? T Timothy? Tommy? Tommy? It's Tommy, right? I don't know. Um, I actually don't even know his fucking name. Who is this guy? I have a feeling this guy, like, a girl's gonna reject him, bro. Like, we we're just gonna be talking, you know, he's gonna be like... Um, yeah, um, what the sigma, and then he's gonna, and then, like, one of the girls is gonna be like, ew, get away from me, you look like a pervert, and then he's gonna, like, whip out the chainsaw and, like, slice them all up, like, it's not him that did all that in one of those games, I don't remember, he's, like, the Liberty City game, right, um, yeah, um, he's probably gonna slice everyone up, and, uh, I don't know, he's gonna cook everyone, bro, <laughs> I don't know, I'm running out of ideas, these are the only characters I can muster up, bro, I'm not gonna lie, this was kind of a dumbass tier list, um, yeah, so uh, Timothy down here, he's uh, going to F tier. He's going to slice up the girls. He's, he's a straight-up psychopath. I'm pretty sure he's, like, the biggest psychopath in this game series, isn't he? From what I've heard. I haven't played the game. I have no idea. But, hey, that's what I've heard. Timothy over here, he's a big psychopath. He reminds me of Squidward. I don't know why. He just looks like Squidward if he was a dude. Um, 
I don't know why. You, you can't say anything. I don't know. You, you can't take that away from me. Um, so, yeah. This is my list. Michael is on S tier, even though he's fucking 45 or whatever. And, you know, Franklin's A tier, mainly because someone needed to fill that spot. And, you know, he's probably the best person to do that, to be honest. He's just your average dude. <laughs> And your average dude can pull these days, so... And, um, you know, Trevor, it might be a surprising ranking. Trevor at B tier might be a surprising ranking. Trust me when I say he's gonna make me look good, okay? He ain't... Okay, he's probably stealing all my thunder. He's probably gonna make me look stupid. Um, he's probably gonna make me look fucking homosexual, to be honest. But, um, you know, there's also a good chance that he'll, like, say, Yeah, this guy, he's a great guy. He's a great fucking guy. He's loyal. Very loyal. So, yeah, um, Trevor, I trust him a little bit. I trust him a little bit. You know, Nico, he has the social skills of a jackrabbit. I might actually put him down here. Because he's going to be like, loveme.net, love me, loveme.net. I went on the line, loveme.net. Um, so, you know, yeah, Nico is a, um, a vulnerable guy who needs to be held up by big, strong arms. So, you know, he might be having a little bit of trouble. He might be having a little bit of anxiety when he's talking to girls. But, um, yeah, that's kind of all I have to say. F tier kind of speaks for itself. Uh, Luis, you know, he's a girl snatcher. I'm not going to lie. So, I don't really trust him. <laughs> I don't trust uh, Luis at all. Um, so, yeah, and Johnny's just going to be sitting at the bar fucking crying his eyes out. And Squidward over there is just... He's pulling all the one out of times, bro. He's pulling, he's pulling fucking squilly. Yeah, these are the type of baddies that um, that uh, Timothy will be pulling. Um, you know. Um, yeah, so it kind of speaks for itself. Um, I don't trust him whatsoever. And that's kind of all I have to say, to be honest. Um, yeah, uh, you know. Timothy kind of pulls the most. But yeah, surprisingly, Mike will be the best when it comes to a two-man because he's going to sacrifice himself for me. He's going to hype me up like I'm the second coming of Christ, which I'm not. Don't get me wrong. I never said that. Um, you know, because Michael's a master gaslighter. He's a genius. He hypes people up without even trying. Um, I mean, sometimes he's miserable, but most of the time he's not. He, he locks in when he needs to lock in, all right? Let me know what you guys think. Who has Who would be the best for a two-man? Um, this is the dumbest list I've ever done, and it's almost 11 o'clock now. Uh, I gotta go to bed. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.